The elements of a high-level design document typically include an architecture as well as a more detailed high-level design itself. The architecture is boxes, arrows, and sometimes interface descriptions. The arrows or interfaces show communication paths between components, with the components being the boxes. Architecture tends to be recursive. One designer's system is another designer's component that gets used in an even bigger system. The high-level design document output by this process includes an architecture which provides nouns in the context of the requirements which provides the verbs. Once you have nouns plus verbs, you understand what objects are supposed to perform what actions. A concrete way to represent this is using sequence diagrams, SDs, to show the interactions between components in the system. Anti-patterns for high-level design include skipping from requirements to code. Looking at a pile of requirements and just writing code almost always misses something, and the HLD is the piece that goes between them to bridge the gap. Another anti-pattern is not having a picture that shows how all the components fit together. The third anti-pattern is relying solely on a wedding cake layer diagram like the one shown. That does tell you which components are there. It gives you some idea of which are on top of others, but there's not any information on exactly how they interface together. So this is only a partial architecture diagram rather than a complete architecture diagram.